Hi guys from Montenegro. Today I have here a great guy with me, Igor Rybakov. Hi. <laughs> Igor is the best entrepreneur in uh, Russia as of today. Entrepreneur of the year in Russia. Self-made billionaire, creator of um, Techno Nicole. Uh, this is a multi-billion dollar company in roofing materials. And also uh, creator together with your wife, with uh, Yekaterina Rybakova. A creator of Rybakov Foundation when you foster entrepreneurship in uh, the world. Yeah, um, yeah right. <laughs> so, um, Igor, you are extremely um, accomplished entrepreneur. Very simple question. Uh, what decided about uh, the success of Technonical? What is the success secret of the company? <laughs> if you could say it in, you know, in one formula, maybe yeah. you have a formula for that. Or, uh, I think the main secret of our success is the complementary partnership with my partner Sergey. Uh, the main secret. Uh, every time, everywhere, I find a complementary partnership to enforce each other, to empower each other. And, uh, and it's a general, uh, general way of to empowering yourself. Okay. To find your partnership which uh, gives you, which allow you uh, to have more to, to skills, have, yeah, like you can multiply yeah. somehow. To do what you love to do. To, do, to okay. do what you love to do, not to do what, not to do what you have to do. And uh, uh, remember that your complement partners must be absolutely different, not like you. Okay, yeah, so if you be. don't like somebody, yeah, yeah. it is a signal that it's, it's uh, cool. don't like or it's a different guy. Maybe it's your complementary partner. Okay, but, but if it's the same like you, don't never do, time. Don't, don't never do time. Do, 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 uh, so if I, remember, you you will compete with uh, we see. Okay. <laughs> um, so another question. This one is from uh, from my readers, from my uh, audience. Uh, many experts, uh, uh, many experts in financials are, uh, you know, uh, telling there is this uh, global uh, crisis, economic crisis approaching. How would you, as uh, prepare for that crisis, as entrepreneur and as an investor? What yes, would be a good yeah. way to prepare? We, we already had three crises in our business life. Three, three huge crises. 1998, Russia was default. In 2008, the world crisis. Mm -hmm. And 2014 was crisis in Russia mm -hmm. because of the sanction oh, from US. Mm -hmm. And now I understand what is the. Uh, now I understand and what we do now. Okay. The productivity of the business is the uh, main answer. The, now the productivity in our company in the highest in the top level of the world and no one crisis okay uh, i don't don't say about something um, like a war right like uh, a catastrophic i, I say they are catastrophic I, I say about the economical crisis no one economical crisis can influence for and destroy our growth Every year, so you say every the, year, 10, 15 percent we grow. Crisis, not crisis, 10, 15 percent because of the productivity of the, our company, because of the philosophy, lean production in our company, because of the people in our company, they play, play game. They doesn't work. Okay. They, they, they don't work. They, they really play game. That's, so, that's so the all. best, the best way to prepare is uh, to stay the best and to to improve uh, every day, right? Yeah. And then uh, train, you, train, you, train, you, train, you, train every day. The luckiness is uh, interesting. That uh, the who is the luckiest um, uh, man in the world? Who is ready? Who is uh, well trained? And the technical guy, the manager, is the well trained guy. Okay, that's uh, the secret. <laughs> you know, on my channel, I talk a lot about doing the impossible, about achieving uh, amazing things in life, in business. And uh, you are one of the guys who accomplish many impossible things. 
and but tell me what uh, did the notion of the impossible play in your business and how do you approach it how do you use that notion or that that word or you know the the tension between possible impossible and so on how do you think about that <laughs> I know it's a big topic, but maybe you can. Yeah, yeah, it's very big. Topic. <laughs> <laughs> we could spend like hours talking about that. Yes, so we write a book about that, right? I, but I'm a physicist, and I know that the business life and the life and the business life the same like uh, physics. Physics is the experimental science; it's not the theoretical science. Mm -hmm. So every time, I know that all the impossibles. Is in, what, what I feel impossible is possible, but I don't know. But, but no, no, but because for me, so it's you much don't know how it is possible. Yes, it's not it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, it's just you don't know how yes, it is absolutely. possible. And for right. me, it's much more important. Not what I know. For me, it's much more important what I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's possible. And if I trust myself and I say myself, yes, I don't know how it's possible. In that moment. It's possible for me because I will start finding the the, uh, ways the way work. how it's possible. That's all. Okay. And the school where I was, uh, I was uh, from the school where the adults they um, they taught me that if you feel impossible something that you have to stop. Mm -hmm. Now my school, I, I have a lot of students and the menti. Uh, which surrounds me, I, uh, I teach my students and I can, uh, guys, you, can, uh, know, you can't know uh, everything. And if you don't know how it's possible, it doesn't mean that it's impossible. Right. Everything possible. Okay. The other notion that is, I think, important in, uh, in, uh, in our fast-changing life or well, fast-changing world is the uh, change. The, 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 uh, the notion or the the change itself. How do you approach change? How do you? Uh, what's your relationship to change? And how do you try or how how do you make your company change, adapt, and stuff like that? Uh, really, for me, it's a little bit strange because I'm not a good manager. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and I'm, how to manage? Uh, how to organize uh, change management right i mean in a, uh, in a multi-billion dollar company yeah, when you yeah. have thousands of employees right my partners know how to do it sergey mm -hmm. he's an excellent manager he's my uh, complement partner and every time in my companies i find somebody who knows what i don't know it's important it's a very important for me i never learn that i don't want to learn but there is some points uh, I call this like uh, tipping points mm -hmm. when all what you know they, that blocks you from the quantum leap yes from the quantum mm -hmm. uh, how to say leap quantum, quantum leap is quantum the right. leap yeah. and this is what this is the point where I, I, I have a very good practice. I, in that moment, I I like this situation. It's my uh, it's my it's my point. I like the tipping points. Tipping points everywhere in industries. So in this the, is in the, the relationships of the, the tipping people. Tipping point is the uh, let's say the place in the, let, the let's place. say uh, time space continuum when yeah. things can change. Yes, right? yes, yes. Everything can change dramatically the, by just one, yeah, but little, one, one, a little uh, bit, one word, mm -hmm. one, one uh, side, one, one piece of something uh, small, and everything can go to the uh, different direction. I like this. This is my, uh, this is my game. Okay. And I can. Uh, so do, can you I create put the, put tipping the, points, or can you take advantage yes, of tipping points? Both. Yeah. both. Yeah. How to create tipping points? And how to use tipping points to put the system into the what you want, okay. in the what the direction what you want. <laughs> okay, so you actually take advantage of, or, or you are the change agent, right? And then, uh, okay, um, so you don't see because you know most people see change as something um, of a, 
yeah of a danger right that uh, yeah. they are afraid of change and you are like looking for for the change and finding these tipping points and then taking advantage of, of them i like changes because of the, my game okay if there is no change in the company in the ball i feel myself <laughs> very bad <laughs> okay <laughs> what is my job i like this <laughs> okay uh, last question from the general uh, ones what is the most valuable advice you have uh, received in your life yourself like somebody gave uh, gave it to you. what would you say what would be the best advice you have gotten from somebody um, don't spend your time i say for myself yeah? mm -hmm. hey eager after don't spend your time uh, to see on your list what you don't have every time uh, you have to look around through the list of your what you have what, what, what you, have. you have okay this is a this is a so the like, attitude a, of abundance so to say uh, yes it's the accelerator of abundance it's it gives it gives you power it gives me power it's empowering me it's like a self empowering system the, the most excellent self empowering system okay yes and uh, when you uh, uh, write the next when it makes it, that technology that process in your book mm -hmm. i think it's good for your uh, followers it's, to, it's to, very to good because that. it's uh, that practice that the maximum empowering practice what I, what i know okay. i use this maybe for you it's uh, Probably, yeah, probably. probably it will be good for you. Okay, great. The very last question. Uh, we had a small uh, game on uh, uh, on the channel. It's called Ask a Billionaire, where uh, one of uh, my let's say followers or uh, from the audience, uh, they were so, uh, providing uh, questions, and we just draw one question to ask to ask you, and it will be included in in the in the book. Uh, and this is a question by Adam Pro. And he asked, what changes in your business uh, approach and strategies maybe um, uh, did you do uh, with the transition uh, from a millionaire to, uh, at first from zero to a millionaire? And then what changes um, uh, were there with the transition from a millionaire to a billionaire? Like, uh, you know, in the approach and the strategies maybe, I know they are, tons and hundreds but maybe you can tell one two three mo uh, most important changes that you you made because apparently you, op yeah. you operate on different levels when you start then you know. yeah, uh, in my in my view is uh, the the border border is under from the zero up to one billion okay um, and after one billion okay so let's yes. let, let's do this yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and then um, the, what kind of them um, approach uh, before one billion mm -hmm. the m uh, figures about the million or several millions or mm -hmm. ten millions or hundred millions it's the wrong way mm -hmm. you have to think not about the millions mm -hmm. millionaire billion no you have to think how to create the most uh, useful things for other people mm -hmm. how to create something for uh, useful for somebody not for only for somebody's one people two people no, for millions of people mm -hmm. how to bring some add value for the society society for the planet mm -hmm. think about this mm, if you think about the to be the Forbes list, uh, to be a millionaire, mm -hmm. to be a billionaire, you are never will be there. there. Okay. Absolutely. So this is the change from zero. Think to about how to bring something useful for value to others. Value for others. This is the most important thing for for the beginners or for the millionaires or for the multi millions. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And That's then? all. And then when you when you're a billionaire. Uh, in well, case you are in a, bi well, yeah, a billionaire yeah, yeah. and you're listening to if this, you, if you do this, you will then, you the, <laughs> <laughs> then you get the, uh, yeah. the, the further advice. Okay, absolutely, so absolutely. What are the uh, big differences 
beside the millionaires or multi-millionaires with the billionaires. compare the billionaires. The millionaires or multi-millionaires they think about uh, how to uh, how to achieve the next million million. Right. Okay. Then Doing the, something useful for community, but mm -hmm. okay. They his calculation is like a score on the football match. Right. The, uh, right. Uh, what is the so what is the value? They think about what is the score. Yeah, what's the score? And so the money billionaires is the score, and right. the billionaires, they stop doing about the score. Okay. Yes. So uh, what, yes, what yes, is the, it about the, for the, the they, they think about how to, to change the rule. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. It means that how to create the next company or next project to to build something something useful for community, but the the impact of that must be for the all the planet the plus man is the same like uh, millionaires but but look a global a global, it's global the, the yeah. size of the changes or social changes and plus minus all the million uh, billionaires they start to be like a uh, social entrepreneurs okay so that's my i consider myself now it's not as, only about business it's, it's uh, not on, it's um, even much more about the social entrepreneurial uh, and social entrepreneurialism so social so, change social or, changing because like look, changing of the society look, and not uh, and remember, just, remember it's, uh, it's easy being when you create society. something new in the society uh, society in the society in the communication of the people you need to build new companies which support this new communication yeah that is a business opportunity that's why the the uh, most successful billionaires they every time start to be like a philanthropes or social entrepreneurs because the general thinking about the world how to create new communication in the society it's had the business ideas which can be like a global scale that's why all of you I, I, I'm sure that all of you will be the philanthropes or social entrepreneurs like me welcome okay Thanks, uh, Igor, for your wisdom. Thanks, uh, Igor, for being here. And uh, see you guys uh, from the beautiful Montenegro. That's it for today. Let's do something extraordinary today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>